Hello everybody and welcome in today's tutorial and that is system.io tutorial how to integrate system.io into WordPress and as a bonus I will show you how you can do the same and integrate the system.io inland form inside Optimize Press page builder. So let's get started. At first, what is system.io? System.io is a big marketing system uh, with a lot of features and it's actually free to start. So it's not a free trial, but as you can see on the pricing page, you get a lot of things inside this free tier, like 2000 contacts. As you can see, it has email autoresponder, unlimited email sent, free sales funnels, one blog, one course and so on. You can check it out in the link in the description and get your free plan and get started. Why I use system.io? Because uh, there it's a, like a one, one product that has all that I need for my affiliate marketing business. And it has blog, but I, I already had a blog on honestmarketingtips.com, which is actually in WordPress. So when I started using system.io, I wanted to implement the autoresponder from system.io into my blog posts or pages or whatever. So I found a way on how to do it. First, if you don't have an account, you can click to on get started for free. It's absolutely free and you can follow along. Of course, you will need a WordPress blog, so open your WordPress admin as well. Go into your system.io dashboard, which looks something like this. This is my brand new account that I use only for demo purposes. When you are here, you can go to funnels. If you don't have a funnel, uh, you can click on create a funnel. I already have one, so I will open one existing funnel because I need just one uh, funnel step in which we will build our system.io inline form. When you build a funnel, click on create step here. Name your uh, page. I will call my in inline form. And from the step type, I will choose inline form. And when I click save, I will get like seven or eight uh, templates. You can use whichever you want. I, I will use this one, this uh, green one. So just click on select. Your step is ready to be designed. To open the editor, go into your right side of the page and click on edit page. And this is the system.io editor. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward, straightforward, whatever you type here is implemented. You click save changes and that's it. So let's see and uh, style this form first. So it is congruent with the styling of the uh, WordPress that I'm using. So when you go to my WordPress page, I am using uh, a Neve uh, or Neve uh, theme. So let's customize the theme to, to check which fonts I am using. So if I go to typography, uh, I can see that my main font is popping. So to change your font on all of the uh, elements on the page, go to settings in the top left corner, and then you have default typography, which is currently set to Slabo, and I will change it to Poppins. Uh, you can of course use the font uh, that you are using. Uh, heading typography I will leave as the same as Poppins. So when you uh, are finished, uh, let's uh, clean some things up. Like I will increase the line height here. So you can see you can see your changes immediately. And of course I will change this background to, to stay more congruent with my white background. So I will click here, go to settings. And here you have a page settings and a background color, which is now green. I will make it white or let's for this example to be faster. I will use black so you can see uh, I didn't lose too much time styling the form. When you're ready, you can you can customize your text uh, and everything. Uh, I will just show you how to add a first name field. So you, this is the email field. You just copy it and you can, uh, in, when you click on the first field, you will get uh, its settings in sidebar. So email, uh, select a type, it will be first name. 
placeholder can be first name or to be congruent we will say enter your first name with three dots and that's it if you when you are satisfied with everything click the save changes here and we will go out the next thing that we need to do is automation rules we need to say what will happen when this form is actually submitted so go to uh, your inline form page and automation rules tab here and we will click add a rule uh, the trigger will be when final step form subscribed uh, or it occurs when a content is just subscribed to a form and we will click on add action uh, subscribe to a campaign and you can choose your campaign in this case I have some example campaign I use and save rule so every time a, a customer subscribes through your opt-in form, which we will embed into your WordPress site or Optimize Press site later, uh, uh, it will be added to that campaign. And then uh, I, will, I will have probably in the future more, more tutorials on how to set up the email response integration and uh, the sequences of emails you will send uh, on day two or day three and uh, nurture that lead that you got. So without further ado, we will go back to step configuration and we have two options to go through. Uh, on the right hand side, you will see embedded form, which will, will be used later in the optimized press part of the tutorial. And I, because you, if you paste this into your normal WordPress site, it will be completely unstyled. This is to be used in a different way. So in this case, I will use script. If this happens, sometimes this happens, you just reload the page and then it will open. So we will copy this script tag to the clipboard and go to our WordPress blog. And I will open one of the posts. So just edit your post. And when you go, I will go all the way to, to the bottom and I will open if you're using Gutenberg uh, custom HTML block and I will paste in my script and when I preview this you, you will see your form here uh, the watermark here is actually your uh, system.io affiliate link which is nice so if somebody clicks here and submits and in the future when he, he goes through the 2000 contents so by something it will be attributed to you and you will make some money. So let's update the post and when the post is updated we should see our form in the bottom of this post and here it is. If we now enter uh, everything here and click here uh, to submit it will be added to system.io and that is how you embed it it's very simple and straightforward let's now see how we can use optimize press and optimize press is a page builder which actually is targeted to marketers and it has a very nice set of like over 300 templates you can use that are already done for you it also has funnels and checkouts and the newest addition is Optimus Mentor which is course and membership site builder but you can get it in the link uh, in the description but let's see how we can use Optimize Press and we can embed this uh, font we had here uh, so as a first step we will go into our uh, form and this time I will click on embed form and copy this to clipboard so just press this button I will go to my WordPress page and I will for this demo create a new Optimize Press page so if you click here create new page you as you can see there is like a gazillion templates all of these are actually collections of templates but I will go with the first one and uh, just uh, use the as in this example we need an opt-in form we will use this marketer pro opt-in template name our page as system uh, test create the page and after a few seconds the Optimize Press uh, editor will be opened as you can see we have a nice uh, looking page with a nice looking opt-in form so we, when you we click on the opt-in form uh, we have integration options 
and in this uh, example we will edit the integration and use the custom HTML integration. So when we go to the next step, as you can see, you can paste your code here, which we uh, copied to clipboard, uh, and you go to the next step. Uh, you can turn on or off. You cannot turn off uh, the first name uh, in this case because they are both required by the uh, system.io configuration. So because they are required, you cannot remove them. Uh, go to the next step which is like a form post action what happens after the form is submitted you can show a notification you can redirect to url of course you can turn out of field form field so if you are going from an opt-in form to for example a checkout form uh, the first name and email will be uh, already filled in on the checkout form if you use this of course, you can show the pop-up overlay, which is like uh, you can create pop-ups on the pages in Optimus Press. For this example, I've used the notification. And when we complete, you can see that this form looks exactly the same, but is now integrated completely with system.io. If you want to change some things uh, here, like uh, reorder, the fields or something you can do that as you can see i reordered the fields and when i preview the page so if we now enter my name and some test email test one at gmail.com if you use the wrong email optimize press will not allow it so or system.io will not allow it so please use the proper email here and when we click get instant access you see it all is green you have a notification we enter then there and if you refresh our contacts page here as you can see our contact is added here and the everything is working properly if you liked system.io i urge you to uh, subscribe to, to it uh, and get it for free you can use like uh, free funnels 10 steps one blog co build course everything for free uh, it's pretty uh, pretty straightforward to use and you you get a lot of unlimited emailing unlimited fire storage space the link is in the description also if you want to buy optimize press uh, unfortunately it's uh, there is no free option uh, but uh, so if you need only the builder you can use it uh, buy it for 99 dollars a year which is a bargain and for like 399 i'm sorry 199 a year you can get a suite which uh, get you gets you all of these uh, uh, extra plugins uh, for building funnels and everything. So uh, if you compare this to ClickFunnels, uh, which is 97 a month, this is a bargain as well. So I showed you how you can implement system.io forms inside Optimize Press or a normal WordPress site. One more thing I didn't mention uh, or I did mention but didn't show you. Uh, Optimus Press has a nice feature called uh, pop-up overlays. You can have this uh, uh, form also connected to system.io. You can also do, do the delay and animation uh, and you have a delay timer which will show the pop-up setting, uh, the pop-up will pop up uh, after a few seconds or something or on exit intent uh, which you can turn on, devi on devices uh and uh, you can say for how long you don't want to show the pop-up overlay anyway this is from me uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel i will have a big series of system.io optimize press.com and other uh, software uh, tutorials like this which you will use in your everyday uh, affiliate marketing business